Morning all. It's Saturday, Goose Fair Saturday, and it's about coming up to about 11:30. Fair opens at midday, and everyone's getting ready, including this right here, who's having a bit of uh, lubricant delivered. Traditionally, Saturday or Saturday lunchtime afternoon is for families. It tends to be when there's more room on the fair and it's quieter. Although, maybe not so quiet when we're talking about noise. The uh, dodgems have been manoeuvred into place. And Elsie, one of the horses on this roundabout, is far from galloping. As yet, that is. Give it time. I expect the Air Max will be doing the rounds too, in a while. It's very strange when the uh, fairground is empty when you're used to it being full or fullish one of the uh, wheels is rotating I did come down last night got a bit of footage well I got a lot of footage but I had a uh, bit of a technical issue Mm, won't even go there. <laughs> A few people are starting to arrive now. Mr. Diesel Tanker is on the move again. Probably doing a few more few more deliveries so they can get this we'll get these rides moving <laughs> looks like the star flyer is ready to go as are quite a few of these food stalls revving up their hob tops or whatever burgers etc are cooked on these days I'm sure they're not microwaved down here like in certain pubs that you find find on the high street
Patronised by royalty, eh? The cakewalk is probably the oldest ride on the fair. Being built in 18, 1896. That's limbering up with its fairground organ music. And so the dodgings over here. The straw down here reminds me of the uh, Bakewell Show in Derbyshire, if you've ever, ever been to it. It nearly tripped. Whenever people mention fairgrounds to me, or I think of fairgrounds, I always think of the Dodgens and the Waltzers and the Carousel. surprise you know because in the space of about 10 minutes this fairground is more or less deserted I know it, uh, it won't be too long before it's a buzzing hype of, uh, hype of activity Goose Fair has been in Nottingham for yonks. Originally it was in the Old Market Square when its intention was for people to sell geese or geese were sold, hence its name. Then it moved to the Forest Recreation Grounds where it's been ever since. It always opens officially on the first Thursday in October but for the past few years it's been a 10 day event so depending when the Thursday, first Thursday falls the fair finishes on the following Sunday usually we saw the cakewalk earlier but apparently the oldest fairground ride was a merry-go-round which was first available in Bolton, Lancashire in 1841. There you go. Mind of information. And the first riders of the day on the ice jet. Apparently, this ride was voted one of the best rides with the most atmosphere. I'm not being on it, but that's what the punters say. Oh, 
Yeah, the ice jets, the most atmosphere. I don't know, I can't see it myself, but like I say, I've not been on it. And it probably is very, very atmospheric at, uh, at night when all the lights are going and everything, and the dry ice or whatever they pump out. But at the moment, I can't, can't see it myself. Snickers bar, peanut fudge, and Ferro Rocher. Mm, sweeties, is anybody looking? No, I won't. I could be tempted though. As well as the rides at the fair, you're not into the rides, or even if you are, there's lots of uh, side stalls where you can win prizes, enjoy games, or if you don't want to spend any money, then just come down and soak up the atmosphere. Won't cost you, won't cost you a penny to do that, and it's going to be really, really nice today. Rain is not forecast at all. Woo! <laughs> that entrance is Gregory Boulevard, or one of the entrances on Gregory Boulevard. If you ever coming in to the down to the fair from the north or from Mansfield Road, when you get to the big island where the goosey is always positioned, then that stretch that runs along the bottom of the forest is Gregory Boulevard. There are three pedestrian entrances on Gregory Boulevard and that's one of them. Two more victims on the over the fall. Well, I shouldn't say victims. You know, you know what I mean. close up on the skid cars, they're just about to uh, do the business so to speak.
crash only as well, that really is traditional. A lot of the rides today are uh, credit card, plastic, plastic. Like I mentioned a few times in some previous videos, I really do like the uh, skid, traditional rides. Not too embracing, the rider is in control and traditional sort of music. 70s, 80s music with the odd 60s thrown in. A lot of this, none of this bloody rubbish that you get nowadays. The skid cars along with the cakewalk, dodgers and the carousel more of a traditional type of ride than any fair. It's the first time I've been to the Goose Fair for a few years now. I love them. And the good thing about it is that the rider is in control. Right down the hall, hold it, then release it, then go to your left, release it to go to your right. Wild Mouse. We're at the far side of the fairground now. This borders more or less the Goose Fair Village, as I like to call it, where all the showmen uh, are. So if you're coming to the fair by Gregory Boulevard, first entrance on the left, if you're approaching the fair, and this is the first thing, first ride that you will see. The wild mouse, very similar to the mighty mouse, or whatever it's been rebranded as. The bigger version of this, slightly bigger version of this, in the centre of the main bit of the Nottingham Goose Fair 2023. Behind me here is the entrance to the Showman's Village. Right, let's uh, let's get back onto the main bit. It's getting busier now. Not sure what the uh, time is. Oh, and the sun's coming out. How about that? Oh, it's 12:52, Saturday, October the 7th, 2023, here at the Nottingham Goose Fair. Back on the main drag now, going back towards, uh, well no I was going to go back towards the tram stop, no we won't. We'll go up towards Food Alley, as soon as these waltzers have uh, gotten underway.
I think we're about ready to go. That's taken a bloody while. Mind you, all the cars are now full. I can't see any scary faces yet, but give it time. Now this ride, the rotor, is really old school. I suppose the modern version was that gravity ride that we saw the other day at the top end of the uh, fair. Uh, this is the uh, this is probably the original as I know it. Good old-fashioned rotor. They're running down the back straight now. Only blown on the down. This is always a popular game, the Kentucky Derby. £1.50, probably the cheapest game on the uh, on the Goose Fair this year. The idea is to drop Come on, Dan, a ball into the relevant the hole that matches the number of your horse and then your horse moves forward. Easy peasy. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Come on, gear up, get up going, get your ball rolling, you're off, you're running, you're off. Oh. Come on, gear up, get up going, and get your ball rolling. You race it on the Kentucky Derby. Work it the way through the field. Heading down the back straight now, in drove on the Derby, free the leader. Six, eight and tens on the outside, they work their way down the back straight now, and in front of the Derby. Ten the leader, three the challenger on the inside, eight's on the move. Three, eight and six, it's going to be a photo finish. Jockey yeah. number three, right at the end. We're on the way up to Food Alley now. It seems to be thinning out a bit. Unless it's just my, my luck. I'm sure the crowds are still here, but they've probably probably dispersed elsewhere. I do like this straw on the ground, it gives it that sort of uh, country show feel that rural rural atmosphere and of course it's dry there's going to be no rain today in fact it's quite warm now it's probably I'd say about 19 18 19 degrees easy Hook it up. I remember playing that when I was in Nipper. 
a prize every time. In fact, you win a duck every time, but only for about two seconds until the lady removes it. But you do win a prize. This is the edge of the food alley. I'm not sure if I'm going to go there today, but there's a link, an image on the screen now. And if we do get time, we'll have a look at food alley later. Early mornings, preparing the peas and cooking peas until late at night. After 25 years of working together, with the help of the Burnett family, Al was satisfied that Terry could continue the family tradition and decided to retire. That's it from me at the Goose Fair this fine Saturday afternoon. I'm uh, nipping off now for a few hours. I should go and have a lie down really, my legs are aching. And uh, hopefully I'll be back tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified next time I upload to YouTube. Until then, cheerio and enjoy the rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in the world. <laughs>